Precious metals are finally back on the rise. Has the time come to go full speed ahead on gold? Well, let's take a look at the current gold spot price as of the time of filming this video, December 15th, 2022. Gold is currently sitting at $1,788.30. We did see a high of $1,830 at the opening of this past Tuesday, December 13th. And of course, we'll have the ebbs and flows of each day, but we are seeing an exciting upward trend over the last few months. As you see on this chart here, showing the last three months where gold was sitting at around $1,720 back in the beginning of September of 2022. Recent interest rate hikes have further weakened the US dollar which is currently propelling gold and silver and other precious metals. The Fed has raised interest rates half a point to the highest level in 15 years. Big banks like Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley are all predicting some type of recession in America throughout the upcoming year of 2023. And gold, the beautiful and intrinsic precious metal, has proven over centuries now to be a protective asset. It has also been used as a store of wealth and as a currency by dozens of civilizations throughout history. Let's take a look at this article I just recently read on investing.com. I really enjoyed this comic artwork as well. Quote, gold is typically considered a safe haven in times of economic turmoil, but over a large part of 2022, the market's perception of the commodity has been in flux. Much of that stems from the Federal Reserve and its ongoing quest to cool red hot inflation back down to its 2% target. Prices have been driven up by supply shortages linked to Russia's war in the Ukraine and lingering COVID lockdowns in China. In response, the Fed has hiked interest rates aggressively, which has in turn rubbed some of the shine off of a non-income asset like gold and shifted attention to the relatively high yielding US dollar. But since November, the sentiment around gold has seemingly turned a corner. This week saw prices hovering at one point near a six month high, buoyed by US data on Tuesday that showed inflation in the world's largest economy eased by more than expected to 7.1% in November. Investors suspect that if the Fed thinks that it has succeeded in softening inflation, then the central bank will pull back on increasing borrowing costs. This could subsequently take the air out of the US dollar's recent rally and heighten the allure of gold. Even still, recent returns for gold have been resilient, but not spectacular. Spot gold prices are up over 1% in the past one year period. By contrast, the S&P 500 has dipped by more than 13%, while supposed quote, digital gold, Bitcoin, has tumbled by more than 61% year to date. So, as we read in this article, even those who are bullish on the US dollar are starting to wake up to the allure of gold and other precious metals. With the recent massive losses in the stock market, as well as the cryptocurrencies market, more people are opening their eyes to precious metal investments, especially gold. Not only the physical, but also aggressive and strongly led gold mining stocks, such as Gold Mining Inc which is the main gold mining company that I've personally been weekly investing in over the last few months. Investing in gold mining stocks is a great way to increase exposure into the gold market and even turn those earnings into physical metals. I personally like to invest in strong gold mining stocks such as Gold Mining Inc. to make those profits, which then I turn those capital gains into physical gold and silver and other precious metals and this is a great way for any of the gold and silver stackers out there who may be on a budget to earn extra profits and in turn build their physical precious metal holdings let's take a quick look at this clip here of chief executive officer of gold mining inc alistair still giving a brief overview of the company so gold mining it is a dual listed company uh, ticker symbol, very easy on the Toronto Stock Exchange, G-O-L-D. We're also G-L-D-G on the NYSC American. But what makes us unique is really the strength of an exceptional portfolio of resources. There's over 16 million gold equivalent ounces in the measured indicated categories. 
and we have a further 16 million ounces gold equivalent in the inferred category. These are located all throughout the Americas. What we have underpinning that as well is an exceptional balance sheet. We have over $82 million in cash and equity holdings. A large portion of that is in our holdings in Gold Royalty Corp. This was a company that we created just over 18 months ago. It was formed from assets from within the gold mining portfolio. We wrote small royalties on that portfolio and launched that very successfully on the New York Stock Exchange, raising over 90 million US dollars, which I think was a great endorsement of the assets within the gold mining portfolio. Our balance sheet really helps us fund our next stage of growth. We are a company who has been very successful in accumulating assets over some 10 year period. And really now we enter an exciting phase where we get to harvest value from that portfolio, unlock value as we advance our projects, look for partners and look for exceptional business opportunities and advancements such as US gold mining on our, on our Whistler assets. Our projects are entirely throughout the Americas. We're in five countries. We're in the US, Canada, Colombia, Brazil, and one project in Peru. Um, we also have one uranium project, which really doesn't even register in our portfolio, but is yet another example of value contained within this portfolio and how we might unlock that. We talk our, about ourselves as being a gold mining is the name and gold really is the focus. We are more than 80% commodity exposure to gold, but we also have an important component of copper within the portfolio. You can see that we have some 2.7 billion pounds of copper and a significant portion of that copper is in fact located in the US. Our portfolio, which is one of the largest gold and gold copper portfolios throughout the Americas, remains largely uh, underexplored, undeveloped and un uh, unadvanced in the last 10 years. So there's a lot of uh, untapped potential there and we're very excited about the progress we've been making with our drill programs, with our partnership programs, and our opportunity to create value through launching IPOs. That, that revenue we have coming in right now from dividend income on our gold royalty uh, release or creation last year, I think is illustrative of the value within our portfolio and how we can unlock value from within it as we continue this journey of uh, unlocking value and what is the very uh, undervalued uh, on an enterprise value per ounce basis. We're below almost all of our peers and we think there's an exceptional opportunity for re-rating as we unlock value within that portfolio. Let's take a look at where GLDG and its other sister companies are currently sitting on the New York Stock Exchange. Gold Mining Inc., which is traded on the NYSE American under ticker symbol GLDG, is currently sitting at $1.21 per share. And Gold Royalty Corp., which is traded on NYSE American under ticker symbol GROY, is currently at $2.39 per share as well as Uranium Royalty Corp, which is trading under ticker symbol UROY. They are currently sitting at $2.30 per share, which I believe just shows how undervalued these companies are. Gold Mining Inc. as well as Gold Royalty Corp are both holdings within the Van Eck Junior Gold Miners ETF, which is a great way to gain ownership of these companies as well as others in this sector. And they are trading on the NYSE American under ticker symbol GDXJ and currently sitting at $34.71 per share. Gold Mining Inc. has an experienced leadership and management team, including Alistair Still, who we saw before, who is the CEO. He is a geologist with over 25 years of experience in corporate and project development, exploration and mine operations, as well as Amir Ednani, who we've spoken about in other videos, who is their chairman. Uh, he's an entrepreneur and the founder and chairman of Gold Mining Inc., as well as the president, CEO and founder of Uranium Energy Corp. Gold mining also has major shareholders such as Sprott, Marin Katusa, Rick Rule, and Doug Casey. And other key shareholders such as KCR Fund, Ruffer Gold, BlackRock, Van Eck, Oppenheimer Holdings, and others. GLDG has a market cap of $210 million with assets including 20 million shares of Gold Royalty Corp worth $52 million and their market cap after reducing their gold royalty corp position leaves them at a value of 158 million. 
their gold reserves and resources are a total of 14 projects, including 32 million ounces and price per ounce of $158 million at 32 ounces is coming out to be only $4.93 per ounce. The industry average price for gold right now for resource and reserves are $30 an ounce. That's an under evaluation of 83% below average. And when one becomes a shareholder of Gold Mining Inc., they are paying $4.93 per ounce of gold for the company's reserves compared to that $30 an ounce uh, industry standard. And you can think about it that if gold mining's 32 million were priced like the average, the company's market cap would be 960 million plus the 52 million in their uh, gold royalty corp position that comes out to be over a billion dollars and that's why the analysis target is five dollars and 25 cents per ounce so since gold mining inc owns 32 million ounces of gold and if they were priced like the median they could sell that portfolio for a minimum of 30 dollars an ounce equating for 900 million dollars whereas the current market cap is 130 million representing a major opportunity to eight times your money right now the market cap is 130 million and they own 55 million in gold royalty shares which means the other 75 million in market cap is what the market is valuing their 32 million ounces of gold so 30 uh, 75 divided by 32 equals only two dollars and 34 cents per ounce for gold and the median in the market for similar projects, like we said, is is $30 an ounce. So that is a 92% discount. And really, where else can you buy gold at 92% below price? So as I mentioned before, I believe that Gold Mining Inc. and its other sister companies are extremely undervalued. And I'm personally investing in these gold mining companies to further my exposure into the gold market, as well as earning profits to turn into physical precious metals for my own personal stack. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you got a little information and insight into Gold Mining Incorporated. And please let me know down in the comments, what do you think about Gold Mining Inc? And what do you think about gold mining companies overall? So thanks for watching today. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we upload our next video. And as always, folks, have a great day.